Welcome to Quiz Class. Today we have a 100 question quiz on TV shows and movies. We will be looking at six different categories. And here we have our rankings, our silver screen awards. Please tell us how you ranked in the comments. And our categories are identify the actor, behind the scenes, TV trivia, film frenzy, character quest, and dialogue dilemma. Let's begin with who is the actor? What is the surname of the actress that plays Lucy Ricardo in I Love Lucy? Ball, Mertz, or Ricky? Ball. Who played the starring role of Dixon Steele in the 1950 movie In a Lonely Place? Gloria Graham, James Stewart, or Humphrey Bogart? Humphrey Bogart. Who played Sweet Sue in Some Like It Hot? Marilyn Monroe, Barbara Drew, or Joan Shawley? Joan Shawley. What is the name of the 1959 classic movie that features Cary Grant as a New York ad executive pursued by a cunning spy? Vertigo, Rear Window, or North by Northwest? North by Northwest. In the horror drama Dark Shadows from the 1960s, who plays Julia Hoffman? Catherine Lee Scott, Laura Parker, or Grayson Hall? Grayson Hall. Which 1963 film starring Marcello Mastroianni demonstrates the hardships and creative processing behind filmmaking? Eight and a Half, The Birds, or Tom Jones? Eight and a Half. Believed to be his most iconic performance by many, who was the star of the 1961 sports drama, The Hustler? Federico Fellini, Albert Finney, or Paul Newman? Paul Newman. Who had the starring role in the American detective drama, The Rockford Files? Peter Isaacson, James Garner, or Dick Martin? James Garner. Who played Wonder Woman in the 1976 series of the same name? Beatrice Collin, Sandra Pearl Sharp, or Linda Carter? Linda Carter. Who played Joanna Kramer in Kramer vs. Kramer? Jane Alexander, Christine Baranski, or Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep. Who played the starring role of Frank Morris in the 1979 Escape from Alcatraz? Clint Eastwood, Fred Ward, or Paul Benjamin? Clint Eastwood. Who played Michael Knight in the 1982 to 1986 series Knight Rider? Harrison Ford, David Hasselhoff, or Tom Cruise? David Hasselhoff. Who played Sam Malone in the 11 season series Cheers? Ted Danson, Jack Nicholson, or John Cusack? Ted Danson. Who 
who played the foster kid with curly red hair, Annie, in the 1982 film Annie? Aileen Quinn, Carol Burnett, or Bernadette Peters? Aileen Quinn. Who played the lead role of Tony Montana in the tale of corruption, greed, and power in Scarface? Al Pacino, Tom Hanks, or Gene Hackman? Al Pacino. And let's move to our next category, behind the scenes. The French New Wave drama film Contempt, starring Brigitte Bardot, was directed in 1963 by who? Jean-Luc Goddard, Carol Rice, or Glaubert Roca? Jean-Luc Goddard. Who is the genius director behind movies like Mean Streets, Raging Bull, and Casino? Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, or Brian De Palma? Martin Scorsese. Which of these movies was the creation of Steven Spielberg? Schindler's List, Dr. Strangelove, or The Streamroller and the Violin? Schindler's List. What was Marilyn Monroe's given name? Marilyn Diane Mortensen, Norma Jean Mortensen, or Gladys Monroe Baker? Norma Jean Mortensen. Which of these movies did Betty Davis refuse to work on unless an unrealistic salary increase and other demands had been met in 1936? God's Country and the Woman, All About Eve, or Mr. Skeffington? God's Country and the Woman. Which of these actors in on, is on a mostly vegan diet? Harrison Ford, Sylvester Stallone, or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Arnold Schwarzenegger. In which movie did Ben Stiller famously forget his lines, yet his improvisation and that of the other actors was so fitting that they kept it in the final cut? The Suburbans, Envy, or Zoolander? Zoolander. Which actor suffered from third-degree burns as a result of a scene in The Wizard of Oz? Audrey Hepburn? Margaret Hamilton or Ingrid Bergman? Margaret Hamilton. What part of Napoleon Dynamite features John Hader's amazing improvisation skills? Napoleon's pickup line, Napoleon playing tetherball with himself, or Napoleon's dance number? Napoleon's Dance Number. In which film did Casey Affleck improvise most of his lines? Goodwill Hunting, Titanic, or Midnight Cowboy? Goodwill Hunting. Which of these celebrities hated working together? Ben Affleck and Matt Damon? Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson, or Meryl Streep and Dustin Hoffman? Meryl Streep and Dustin Hoffman. Which of these actors refused to work together? Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones, Cillian Murphy and Tom Hardy, or Ben Affleck and Matt Damon? Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones. Which of these pairs were actually a couple? Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, or Lauren Graham and Scott Patterson? Lauren Graham and Scott Patterson. 
Humphrey Bogart, and Lauren Bacall. Which of his co-stars did Warren Beatty marry? Faye Dunaway, Annette Benning, or Blanche Barrow? Annette Benning. Who is Melissa McCarthy's comic partner and husband whom she met in 1998? Ben Falcone, Chris Tucker, or David Spade? David Spade. And let's go to, to TV trivia. Which of these 1950s TV shows starred Amanda Blake, Gunsmoke, The Lone Ranger, or The Twilight Zone? Gunsmoke. What is the name of the smart and heroic collie that fearlessly performed tasks for her owners and friends? Lizzie, Lassie, or Sally? Lassie. Who hosted The Twilight Zone and wrote more than 80 of its episodes? Roddy McDowell, Burt Reynolds, or Rod Sterling? Serling, excuse me, Rod Serling. Rod Serling. Who played Jed Clampett in Beverly Hillbillies? Max Bayer Jr., Buddy Epson, or Raymond Bailey? Buddy Epson. What was the name of the follow-up show of I Love Lucy? Lucy, The Lucy Show, or The Lucille Ball Hour? The Lucy Show. Which television program features Ben Cartwright and his sons helping the community while defending their ranch in Nevada? Petticoat Junction, the Dick Van Dyke Show or Bonanza? Bonanza. What American historical drama features a family in Virginia during World War II and the Great Depression? The Waltons, the Robinsons, or David Jones? The Waltons. Which television program features Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Ty working as firefighters and paramedics? Adam 12, Dragnet, or Emergency? Emergency. Which American sitcom stars Gabe Kaplan as a teacher in charge of an ethnically diverse remedial class? Welcome back, Cotter, Lou Grant, or Knott's Landing. Welcome back, Cotter. What action adventure television series was about former members of a fictitious U.S. Army Special Forces unit? Magnum P.I., The A-Team, or MacGyver? The A-Team. What does ALF's name stand for in the TV series ALF? Alien Life Form, Antonio Franklin Leonard, or Alien Loving Friends? Alien Life Form. Which of these television programs features a sensitive redhead girl with a love for poetry? Family Feud, New Heart, or Head of the Class? Head of the class. What is the name of the comical character that loves his teddy and drives a yellow mini? Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Bean, or Inspector Gadget? Mr. 
Mr. Bean. What sitcom follows the misadventures of the Seaver family? Days of our lives, all my children, or growing pains? growing pains. What is the name of the show that follows widowed father Danny Tanner, his best friend and brother-in-law raising Danny's three children, All My Children, Full House, or Home Improvement? Full House. And let's move on to Film Frenzy. What is the primary theme of the movie To Kill a Mockingbird? Racial injustice and destruction of innocence, self-destruction caused by injustice, or a child's point of view of big social issues? Racial injustice and destruction of innocence. Which 1968 movie is about a bumbling Indian film star being invited to a Hollywood party when he should have been fired? The champion, slum dog, slum dog millionaire, or the party? The party. Which of these is a psychological crime thriller directed by Alfred Hitchcock and based on a 1929 play by Patrick Hamilton? Lipstick, rope, or scream. Rope. In which decade was the Hollywood hit Casablanca released? The 1940s, the 50s, or the 1960s? The 1940s. Which movie is iconic for its character, Johnny Strabler, played by Marlon Brando? On the Waterfront, The Wild One, or American Graffiti? The Wild One. Which television program from the 1950s is centered around a widowed, widowed veteran struggling to find a new life along with his mute son? Easy Rider, The Seven Year Itch, or The Proud Rebel? The Proud Rebel. What is the name of the 1970 American biographical war film about a United States general during the Second World War? Patton, General George, or Live and Let Die? Patton. Live and Let Die is an installment of which series of movies? Jaws, The Godfather, or James Bond 007? Double O Seven, James Bond. When was The Godfather Part Two released? 1954, 1974, or 1994? 1974. What is the name of the 1987 film that revolves around two teenage boys who move to the fictitious town of Santa Carla with their divorced mother, Santa Carla, The Lost Boys, or Empire of the Sun? The Lost Boys. What is the name of the musical that stars Charles McGowan, Vicki Frederick, and Pam Flinger? Some Like It Hot, Burlesque, or A Chorus Line? A Chorus Line. Which movie is based on a play by Bongemi, Bongeni Gemma, starring Lolito Kumalo and featuring Whoopi Goldberg? Sabrina, Serena, or Sarafina? Sarafina. Which hilarious crime comedy film directed by Emily Ardolino was released in 1992? 
Nun on the Run, Sister Act, or Clueless? Sister Act. Who portrayed Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean series? Adam Sandler, Matt Damon, or Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp. What American martial arts movie stars Irma Thurman as the bride? Runaway Bride, Kill Bill, or Walk the Line? Kill Bill. And let's move to Character Quest. Who played Batman in the 1949 series Batman and Robin? Robert Lowry, Louis G. Wilson, or Adam West? Robert Lowry. Who originally voiced Cinderella? Betty Davis, Eileen Woods, or Jennifer Hale? Eileen Woods. What is the name of the wooden boy whose story was adapted from a novel by C. Clodi? Groot, Elijah Wood, or Pinocchio? Pinocchio. Which Disney princess was hidden away by the royal family left with a curse only a prince can break? Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, or Cinderella? Sleeping Beauty. Who is the antagonist in the 1951 film Alice in Wonderland? The Ice Queen, the Red Queen, or the Queen of Hearts? The Queen of Hearts. Who did Gregory Peck portray in the 1962 classic To Kill a Mockingbird? Atticus Finch, Jem Finch, or Sheriff Peck Tate? Atticus Finch. What is the name of the conscious VW Beetle in The Love Bug? Kermit? Hermes or Herbie? Herbie. Who portrayed Mary Poppins in the magical musical from 1964? June Ritchie, Cynthia Lennon, or Julie Andrews? Julie Andrews. Who portrayed Carrie in the 1976 film where a shy girl learns to understand her telekinetic powers as a result from the difficulties she encounters? Piper Laurie, Amy Irving, or Sissy Spacek? Sissy Spacek. Who played Beetlejuice in the comical film Beetlejuice? Alec Baldwin? Johnny Depp or Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton. Who is the man synonymous with the Indiana Jones film franchise? Sean Connery, Harrison Ford, or Michael Douglas? Harrison Ford. What is the name of the character portrayed by Leonardo DiCaprio in the Titanic? Jack Dawson, Caledon Hockley, or Brock Lovett? Jack Dawson. 
portrays the character of Alejandro Marietta in the 1998 cult classic, The Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas, Anthony Hopkins, or Diego Sierras. Antonio Banderas. Who voiced Ginger, the female protagonist of Chicken Run? Lynn Ferguson, Julia Sawala, or Jane Horrocks? Jane Horrocks. Who voices the blue forgetful fish Dory in the films Finding Nemo and Finding Dory? Ellen DeGeneres, Julia Roberts, or Lady Gaga? Ellen DeGeneres. And let's move to Dialogue Dilemma. From which movie is the iconic line, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse? The Wizard of Oz, On the Waterfront, or The Godfather? The Godfather. Which of these iconic lines is from the movie Casablanca? Go ahead, make my day. Here's looking at you, kid. Or Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Here's looking at you, kid. From which movie is the classic line, I love the smell of napalm in the morning? Love story, taxi driver, or apocalypse now? Apocalypse Now. What was E.T.'s iconic line in the 1982 film? E.T. Go Home, E.T. Phone Home, or E.T. Miss Home? E.T. Phone Home. Which of these lines is an iconic phrase from In the Heat of the Night? Rosebud? The stuff that dreams are made of, or they call me Mr. Tibbs. They call me Mr. Tibbs. Where is the iconic one word phrase Rosebud from? Citizen Kane, White Heat, or Network? Citizen Kane. Which of these phrases appear in the original version of The Wizard of Oz? There's no place like home, home Toto, home sweet home, or it ain't no home but a house, you see? There's no place like home. Which part of The Godfather from 1972 was actually a blooper but became an iconic moment of the film. The cat on Don Vito Corleone's lap, Michael and Vito's final conversation, or the door closes in part one. The cat on Don Vito Corleone's lap. What part in The Dark Knight was not scripted but became an iconic scene thanks to the genius carried out by Heath Ledger? The line, you complete me, the slow sarcastic clap, or Alfred's line, we burnt the forest down. The slow, sarcastic slap. Due to budget constraints, people in the background of the film Rocky were not extras. This led to which iconic moment that was not in the script? The scene where Rocky runs through a market, the man that throws, that throws Rocky an orange, or the final chaotic chase? The man that throws Rocky an orange. Which part in Miss Doubtfire was not scripted, but rather the heat of the set genius improvisation skills? Where the icing drips into Mrs. Selner's tea, the line Farpe Dentum sees the teeth, or the opening scene Figaro? Where the icing drips into Mrs. Selner's tea. From which movie is the infamous line, it's lethal to bats, deadly to humans? Dracula, Hotel Transylvania, or Morbius?
Morbius. The love to be hated line, we made their brains bigger as a consequence they got smarter, is from which movie about sharks? Deep Blue Sea, Jaws, or The Reef? Deep Blue Sea. What line in Pearl Harbor by Evan Michael Bay is hated for being unnecessary and jingoistic? No man can tame a tiger into a kitten by stroking it. I think World War II just started, or may God have mercy upon my enemies because I won't. I think World War II just started. Where is the census line? If protecting my family means saving the world, then that is what I'm going to do. The day after tomorrow, if tomorrow never comes, or the tomorrow war. The Tomorrow War. And let's move on to Mystery Round. When was Citizen Kane released? 1941, 1951 or 1961? 1941. Which of these movies is considered Steven Spielberg's most fun blockbuster of all time? Journey to the Center of the Earth, Superman, or Raiders of the Lost Ark? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Which 1954 movie of 207 minutes is centered around a poor farming community that hires a samurai for protection? Samurai, Seven Samurai, or the Sensei? Seven Samurai. Which instant classic is about two neighbors who learn that their partners are not loyal and fall in love while imagining how their partners might be behaving? The Italian Job, Ricardo and Julia, or In the Mood for Love? In the Mood for Love. Finish the opening line of the 1990 hit, Goodfellas. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be what? Rich and powerful, a gangster, or adored by the world? A gangster. What was the name of the comic actor that wrote, directed, and starred in his own movies, such as the 1931 classic City Lights? Harrison Ford, Charlie Chaplin, or Mark Wahlberg? Charlie Chaplin. What movie is set in a German prisoner of war camp during the First World War? World War, The Fallen Angel, or Grand Illusion? Grand Illusion. Who did Morgan Freeman play in Shawshank Redemption? Red, blue, or green? Red. Which 1994 film follows four tales of redemption and violence told by Hitman, a boxer, a gangster, and his wife? The Other Guys, Redemption, or Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction. Which movie from 1994 follows a man with an IQ of 75 that longs to be reunited with his childhood sweetheart? Legends of the Fall, Ed Wood, or Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump. And bonus question, what is the name of the movie that is centered around the sinking of a ship in 1912 with the same name? Let us know the answer in the comments, as well as your rankings. Thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
See you next time.